what is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of From Grateful to Greatness. I am your host, Mario Kaleo, and every episode begins with me being grateful. So I'm grateful for my wife, my family, my friends, everybody who follows me on social media, all of you for taking the time to watch these videos, and God in the universe for allowing your boy another day on this planet to talk to you. We are going to get right into this today, guys. I'm going to give you three principles on how you can bitch slap those punk motherfuckers called the depression, and anxiety. Preface though, none of these things are an end-all, be-all, cure-all for your issues, okay? These are things that help you on moment-to-moment, day-to-day basis, but they're not a permanent solution. Things like that, not in my wheelhouse. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist. So I'm not saying to not get professional help or not get medication. Do whatever you got to do to make yourself feel better within reason, but these are the three things that help me on a day-to-day basis deal with the negative vibes that kind of come up inside me from time to time, all right? And I wanted to share these with you because they're extremely simple things you can do, and they definitely do have an impact on how you feel in a positive way for the moment, all right? So let's get right into it. Principle number one, Focus on what you can control slash be grateful. I lump these two principles into one because they're kind of the same thing in a sense. Focusing on what you can control, right? Most mental health problems are rooted in either the past or the future. You're thinking about the way things used to be, or you're thinking about what's going to happen next. And you get worried, you get sad, you get upset, Focusing on the day in front of you, what's really in your control. You can't control the past. You can't control the future, but you can control what you do today. You can control who you're going to be, how you're going to feel, and how you're going to think today. And that flows into being grateful, okay? Gratitude is a very difficult thing to to work on in society, in our society especially, but It helped me tremendously because I, from time to time, realized that things are not as bad as they possibly could be, okay? So taking a second to just be grateful when you're feeling all those negative feelings, just list a few things that you're grateful for, helps tremendously to lift your spirits for the day. And once again, that's something you can control. You can control how you perceive your world around you, all right? Principle number two, focus on the work not the results. Now, I'm not saying you should lose sight of the ultimate prize. The problem is for people that go after dreams and goals, you have a tendency to be so obsessed with the ultimate desired prize that you totally lose sight of the fact that you are putting in work every single day and you never let yourself be proud of your progress. You never let yourself be proud of the fact that other people would have quit and here you are still fighting. And that, my friends, that counts as work. That counts as effort, okay? Focus on the effort. Focus on the work. Focus on the tasks in front of you instead of always focusing on the way you want things to eventually end up. Because the fact of the matter is, You can't force that desired result to happen. You just have to put in the work every single day. And another thing happens with that as well. When you focus on the work every day, you once again feel positive about yourself because you see yourself putting in work every single day. Principle number three, kind of like principle number two, take action. Take action. Nothing will bitch slap the shit out of anxiety and depression quicker and stronger and more swiftly than taking action towards your dreams and goals. Not putting them off for another day or another week. Not waiting for some special time and place to start taking action towards the things that you want to happen. Nothing will fill you with more confidence, self-esteem, and belief in yourself than taking action instead of putting that thing that you want to do off another day. Now, once again, lastly, these are not cures. These are just things that help lift your spirits from moment to moment, day by day. And I promise you, they aren't going to fix it completely, but they are going to help change your feeling about yourself and your perception about the world around you. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Share this message if it hit home. And remember, all you need is a start and some heart. Peace.